Hey, what's up everybody? Ed the Palm Professor here. I'm coming to you from Aqualand, our corporate headquarters, located in St. Charles, Illinois, which is also known as the water garden capital of the world. I contacted Custom Aquariums through the Aquashella event, which is an incredible event. Love getting together with all the passionate people over there because I've done a lot of different work with a lot of the collaborators at that event. And I fell in love with this tank. Unbelievable, we started kind of brainstorming, we started kind of designing on the fly, which is what I loved about working with Custom Aquariums, is the flexibility as well as that passion for delivering the perfect product for us. So he wanted to know pictures. I sent him pictures of this entire area. I told him the layout. I also told him what we were going to be adding into the system. So the goal is to have an interactive feature, lots of aquascaping, aquatic plants, but we have a bunch of really, really unique turtles that we wanted to put in this feature, which is the main event. We're also going to be supplementing that with a wide variety of different types of species of fish, as well as shrimp and other things like that, that will round out the ecosystem. So as soon as I started kind of going through all those different details with Mark and the entire team, he started sending me over designs. He sent over some previous pictures of, of existing projects so I can get a better idea of exactly what we'd be looking at. Once we had that down, then we started looking at the overall height. Then he started sending me some of the sketches and things as well as where the sumps would be located. Once we had all that stuff uh, nailed down, it was actually a really, really simple process. We kind of signed the contract, we made everything happen, and then a short time later, tank was delivered, our team installed it, and I tell you what, everything went in way smoother than I was anticipating. I've done a lot of different projects around the world, customized water features of all types, and this one was top notch. I can't wait to do the next one. So once we had the layout of the actual tank figured out, the overall footprint, I started formulating a different pl uh, a plan of what we'd be doing on the inside of it. So Trevor in our office is an incredible aquascaper. The two of us kind of sat down, started throwing around some different ideas. We wanted to have this central island type feature. We wanted to have a big area up in the middle where the turtles can actually get out, they can bask, but we also wanted to have it kind of that aquatic, you know, that really jungle type of a feel. So we wanted to incorporate some beautiful stone. Uh, we have a wide variety of rock right here on our property that we use in a lot of our different projects around the area. So this aqua blue boulder that we chose is perfect. The beautiful colors, the striations, the weight, the overall look of it is perfect for this design because everything blends in very nice and tightly. But because of the scale of it, I knew it was going to be visible from 360 degrees and I knew people were going to be looking at this. So I wanted all the little attentions to detail to be taken into consideration. So that's why we chose that particular stone. The other thing that I found was some beautiful pieces of driftwood. I love incorporating driftwood in all of our designs because it gives it that natural element. It also kind of breaks up the monotony of all the stone. So by having the combination of the right stone, these beautiful pieces of driftwood, then we started scaling down all the way down to the substrate. We brought in an alluvial soil, which is kind of a specialized soil mixtures specifically for different types of aquatic vegetation. We also have river rock and we also have sand. All three of those different compounds are giving us a really, really unique substrate to work with from a visual as well as functional standpoint. After that, it was a matter of coming up with the right list of plants. So again, these are all things that need to be complementary. So we have the wood coming up, we have terrestrial areas, we have these deep water zones, we have shallow water areas, and then the final piece was the beautiful lighting system that is gonna provide the necessary light to keep all these plants thriving for many years to come. So my role here at Aquascape is to design and build water features. I've been with the company since 1993, so this is my 29th year. Um, I have designed and built thousands of water features around the world. Um, so here at Aqualand, in our showroom, we have a mixture of different features from poundless waterfalls, which are basically a beautiful waterfall that disappears into a subterranean reservoir. We also have a series of fountains, we have our beautiful koi ponds, we have our fish tanks, all these different things. Our idea is to inspire a new generation of people that will get out and enjoy the outdoors. So I have my own uh, vlog channel, it's called Ed the Pond Professor, where I kind of share uh, all the interests, all the ecosystem knowledge that I've accumulated over the years. My, back, my background's actually in zoology, and I specialized in freshwater uh, ecology, which is known as limnology. So bringing all those disciplines together is just a, an incredible gift that I can bring to people. I love the science, technology, 
engineering, the art, the math, all these different components that come together to actually create incredible features from any scale, from incredible tanks like this to 100,000 to million gallon systems with towering waterfalls, massive boulders, huge pumping systems. The philosophies and the concepts are actually the same across all those different areas, which is what I love about it. So I love connecting with children. I do a lot of talks. I work with schools um, because if we could engage that group at a very young level, have them engage with uh, different fish tanks, aquariums, get to understand our natural world. This is going to be very important for our future because children like that are going to become very, very uh, familiar with conservation, sustainability, protecting our natural resources, which literally is probably the most important thing we can do for all of us as well as planet Earth. If you're interested in more information on Aquascape, please check out our, our uh, website, Aquascape Incorporated. Um, we also have several different YouTube channels, uh, Greg the Pond Guy, Ed, Ed the Pond Professor, Team Aquascape. Um, so we have a wide variety of different things to capture everybody's different attention from installations, understanding the ecosystems to living the Aquascape lifestyle, which is basically living with an outdoor water feature. So all those different things are going to appeal to a wide audience and we love to share our passion, so I hope you join us.